Hello, I hope you're all okay. Today I have got something extra special to show you. I've got something really exciting, some brand new symbols, actually brand new. You know me, I love the second hand stuff, I never buy any new symbols. To be honest with you, I got a bit disillusioned with it. Like buying new stuff, it wasn't exciting to me until I recently switched, like I say, and I started buying loads of minor stuff. All of a sudden there's like a whole world of new symbols that's exciting that I can buy new, which I've never done before. I was getting to the point where I was just buying weird, obscure symbols, like I'm buying 22 inch flat ride Zildjian's from the, from the 70s, I'm buying old, old ride symbols, old symbols from Zildjian, like I bought a 70s crash. I've been buying all old Sabian effect symbols recently, uh, but never anything new. There was nothing really, really exciting that grabbed me. The last thing new I bought, what was it? Probably bought the Spiral Stacker from Zildjian. That was like a cool innovation. I really like that. And like the new cool stuff, the latest cool thing that I found was like the Istanbul Clap Stack. And now everyone does that. Like minor has got their own version. Zildjian have got their own version. That was like the latest big innovation. I'm sure there'll be more, but I'm not much of a gearhead. So I just buy cool second hand stuff really. Uh, so the opportunity came up to buy these new. And not only are they new, they're direct from Meinl's vault. So they have this massive vault in Germany full of symbols and they let certain people go there. For instance, if you're, if you're one of their high-end endorsers, you're selling them tons of products, they'll take you over to Germany and let you in the vault and let you handpick your own symbols. Like you sometimes see them coming up for sale, like you'll have handpicked by Benny Greb, for instance, and there's a few of them floating around and different artists and then they'll let shops go there as well. So I've seen a ride symbol that had the Graham Russell drum stamp on the bottom. Now you know I've got a really good in, uh, relationship with Inti Music in Horncastle. I keep buying loads of stuff from there. Me and Jake got on really well. And he's had Joe there, the Minor rep there a few times. That's what made me get into Minor stuff. I, I explained it in the Minor video if you watch that. If not, check it out. I'm not gonna do any links or anything, I can't bother. Just search. It says Minel, I don't know what it says, whatever. Find the Minel video, do it. <laughs> subscribe as well while you're at it. Got like a million people watching me and no one's subscribing. Get on it. I want to try and get monetized, Bush. Try and get some cheddar. Pay for all these symbols. Right, anyway, that was a tangent. So, I said to Jake, he was going into the vault, Jake from Into Music, he was going into the vault to handpick some symbols for his store. And he put it out to some customers, he said, I'm going here, is there anything you want me to look for? So people will have had like specific symbols in mind that they wanted, um, and certain sounds that they want. I said to him, I just said, just give me the most mental thing you can find. That's what I want. You know me, I love mental sounding stuff. I want stuff that doesn't sound like other people, doesn't sound like anything else. So I said to him, just find me the most mental sounding symbol you can. And I think he came close with one of them ideally what I want I wanted like a weird prototype thing I wanted like I'll tell you what I had in my mind what I wanted I wanted like just a piece of metal that was a weird shape that no one had done anything with that didn't have a logo on that sounded mental that's what I wanted like you hit it and it just makes the sound that no one else ever would ever want to have on the drum kit that's the sound I want on my drum kit Um. The, the ones you got me are a bit more conventional than that, but one of them in particular is ridiculous. So the first one he sent me, he sent me little videos while he was in the vault. He had the little white gloves on that you have to have because you're not allowed to touch them all. You're not allowed to get finger marks on them. And I've been using these for a little bit now. I've uh, gigged with them once or twice. I've gigged with them and I've had them in the in the room just to get used to them, to get them played with my setup so that I can play them nicely when I'm gigging. So this is the first one. This was the mental sounding thing that he sent me first. Now the thing with picking in the vault, by the way, there'll be tons of these laying about, tons. So it'll, it'll have gone through like, I don't know how many of them, and then picked the best one, they're hand selected. Some of these will have been there for a while, and uh, Joe actually said he wanted this one when I when I went and met him because they had like a little mine all do. They called it Byzance and Beer. And me and my mate Jim went. 
and uh, yeah we just got talking to them got to understand how they picked the symbols why they picked them and then got to try some of the other ones that they'd got as well i didn't buy any more though because i was happy with the two that i'd got um so yeah this first one is the mantle sounding 10 inch trash splash look at that so i've always been wary about symbols with holes in because i'm scared i'm going to crack them but who knew when you buy them new you get a two-year warranty so that's handy for the amount i use them but the other cool thing about these is they come stamped on the back so this is the only symbol in the world of this kind this is the only minor trash splash in the world that will have this stamp on the back hopefully you can see that let me just uh, touch the camera so it says hand selected by and then it's got Jake's signature and into music and that's the cool thing that you get on the back so I thought that was a nice little touch and it's just cool to have something that's completely hand selected from the Minel vault and it's had Joe who's like the main A&R guy for Minel in the UK and Jake trying their loads out and picking the best one for me that they thought I'd like and they smashed it with this it does sound amazing so that's the mental sounding thing and uh, oh he sent me like little phone recordings that I'll add in into this video at some point just to show you so that I could hear what they sounded like so he messaged me about that one I was like yep that sounds great and then I said is there anything massive like I want a really big symbol because I'm into these 22 inch crazy symbols now he's seen me play the Zildjians and he knows that I'm into that so I said I want something ideal because he was on about making me a stack that's what he was messaging me but I said no I don't want a stack because I've just I just bought the temporal stack and I was getting on with that I quite like it and I thought this I'm not into all these really dry sounding stuff it's weird like there was a big thing a few years ago with all the minor artists just having the driest symbols ever and I can't be dealing with it I'm quite traditional I'm just I'm branching away from it now and getting some different sounds but I like the old school jazzy symbols. I don't like, I'm not into this. And I like bright symbols as well. I'm not into this where you hit it and you don't get any sustain. I want my symbols to ring for days. I hate it when, when you hit it, it's just like, psh. I've got a uh, Zildjian uh, extra dry crash. And it's dreadful. It's absolutely dreadful. You can't use it for anything. I had to put the spiral stack on top of it to even use it. It's a pointless symbol. You just hit it. You may as well hit your hand like that. That's what it sounds like. But worse. Dreadful. <laughs> that's that's the risk you take when you buy a second hand, isn't it? So then he sent me the video of this. And I started to get excited. I was like, yep, that's the one. He sent, he sent me another one as well, a, a different sand, a big massive sand uh, crash crash symbol. And I've already got one of the sand rides, but this blew it out of the water. This thing is absolute monster of a symbol. It's the most expensive symbol I've ever bought new. I'm not gonna tell you how much, just in case Diane can uh, watch this in the, in the future. And leave me I can't can't be doing with it so I'm not gonna tell you how much it cost a lot a lot but it is a beast and it is hand selected from the vault that's what I'm telling myself and it is absolutely gorgeous this is one of them symbols that's gonna be an essential part of my sound you're gonna see it in loads and loads and loads of videos I'm gonna be using it loads it is absolutely right up my street it is a monstrous symbol and it is beautiful it's so quite dark very complex and it's going to work for everything i do you're going to see it everywhere 
gorgeous. It's going to be like an essential part of my sound. <laughs> Look at that. I can't even fit it in shot. So this is the Byzance 22 inch dual crash ride. If you want to see how much it was, just look them up online now and you'll see. It'll shock you. 22 inch Byzance dual crash ride. I mean, look at that. And these are made to age as well. So the more I play it, the more aged it's going to get. This bit in particular, you've got the beautiful shiny lathen on the outside. I don't know the technical terms. I'm just going to say beautiful shiny. That gorgeous bit there, the bell's nice. Look at that for a symbol. What I really like about my setup now is the different, uh, the different lathing techniques that mine will use are crazy. Like when you when you see a picture of my live setup, I'll have to put one in somewhere. Uh, I haven't got any pictures with this in yet. But one day I will. I'll put a picture up somewhere. Hopefully I'll edit this way later than I do this now. I'll put a picture in my live setup, and the different laving on the symbols, the different tones I'm going for, because I'm able to buy new now. It's so cool. Like the hi hats look a particular way. Like if, even if you just compare these two, they're like so different from each other, but they work together so well. That's the cool thing. These minor symbols now, they're all completely different, but they all work really well. And then that's the back again. You get that lovely, touch it, that lovely stamp, hand selected by Jay Harris into music. So again, another completely hand selected symbol picked from loads. The best one of the bunch that they had at the whole vault in Minel, and now it's in my possession, it's in my collection, and I can't wait to use it. I can't wait for you to hear it. It's a beautiful day. It's an absolutely beautiful day. What a symbol. What a symbol. Mega. I'll get it on. Let you have a listen. 